are running out of ideas to fix global economic woes, particularly in the Eurozone. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said she's determined to overcome the crisis in the Eurozone, but blamed failing political structures for the current problems. What's also become very clear is that in those countries which share a common currency where economic and monetary union has made progress to an extent where one decided to opt for the euro, there is a clear lack of political structures of the necessary underpinnings to make this project work. Well, let's talk now to one such business leader, Rick Goings. He's chief executive of Tupperware, famous for its storage products, and employs a global sales force of 2.8 million, so keeps a very close eye on the headwinds battering the global economy. Thanks so much for joining us, Rick. Um, let's start off by talking about the big issues in Davos this year. I mean, everyone obviously is talking about the Eurozone debt crisis. How much faith is there amongst business leaders like you in what European leaders are doing to tackle the economic crisis? Well, I think there's a lot of uh, focus on it this year, not because so many of us have big businesses throughout Euro Euroland, but I think there's, uh, we're gaining an understanding of some underlying issues of why this has got to work in Euroland. Clearly, uh, many of us believe that Europe, individual countries can't compete against Asia as individual countries. There has to be a Euro uh, zone. And secondly, and I think even most important and not talked about yet much this year, uh, you know, in the first 45 years of the 20th century, there were more than 100 million Europeans killed in war. There hasn't been a European war since 1945. There's been, you know, in the Balkans, a civil war. So there's two big forces working there, economic and peace. I mean, your, your business, your, your company Tupperware is at the moment pushing towards the emerging markets. You do a lot of business there. Business is going well. How worried are you that the global economic slowdown and the slowdown in, in the Eurozone is now affecting the Asian market? Well, uh, we, we do very well because our business model is counter cyclical. And Miriam, that gets on another very interesting point. A lot of discussion at Davos this uh, year about the gap in wealth. Uh, between the have and have nots and the need to be considering some new economic structure. We know communism doesn't work. All you have to do is look at Cuba. There, nobody has anything. Uh, socialism, that's what we're tackling here in Europe to move it away. You can't have everything and take away the competitiveness. That was uh, Chancellor uh, Merkel's key address. So what we believe is a uh, socially responsible capitalism has got to emerge. And by the way, that's what's made us grow so fast in China, India, Indonesia. When you provide her a business model where she can have, where she can grow, uh, then in fact you don't get this level of discontent. I mean, one of the interesting facts actually you just touched on it is the amount of business that you do in countries like, for example, India, where Tupperware is pretty big. How different does your marketing ploy have to be in a country like India compared to elsewhere? Well, not that different. Uh, you know, uh, men and women generally have the same concerns around the world, but there are differences in cultures. So we adapt and adopt uh, the way we bring her into the business, how she sells the product that she sells. But there's a thing they call here at Davos the Tupperware effect. We microfinance her, give her free training. She goes out and tastes success, and then she feels confident. When she feels confident, she then has credibility and she mm. has a seat at the table in her market. And so that's why China, India, Indonesia, more than 100,000 women in each one of those markets. And Rick, I can't let you go without asking you, are there still Tupperware parties being held out there? Every 1.7 seconds. No, I don't believe there's it. There's a new Tupperware party <laughs> starting. <laughs> okay, Rick Goings, Chief Executive of Tupperware, thank you so much indeed for joining us here on BBC World. Now, global economic headwinds, not just the talk of Davos, of course. In the US, those that set the cost of borrowing in the world's biggest economy are fixated on that too. The US Federal Reserve will make history later on Wednesday by disclosing interest rate forecasts from each member of the rate-setting team. It says it's unlikely to raise interest rates, though, before late 2014. Well, for more on that, let's talk to Michelle Flurry, who is at the New York Stock Exchange for us. Interesting times, Michelle, for the Fed. It certainly is. Obviously, as you just mentioned there, there's going to be uh, this sort of groundbreaking press conference a bit later on in which they're going to reveal uh, their 